So the first thing to yeah. say is that for a lot of cancers, stage is king, right? You got, you know, um, cancers that start in an organ in the body, start in your breast or your colon or your prostate or some part. Stage is oftentimes the most important thing about what this is going to look like for you. What your what's your experience going to be? Stage one, yeah, we got it so early. Stage four, often a very different conversation. This is not the case for Hodgkin lymphoma. There is no stage of Hodgkin lymphoma that's not curable. You can have stage 97. Okay, only goes up to stage four. There's, it doesn't matter. It's curable. The point of staging, and staging is just fancy doctorese for describing where in the body is the cancer. And stage one means it's in one lymph node or one lymph node area. Stage two is in a couple lymph node, lymph node areas, but all on kind of one side of the body. We, we think of the diaphragm as like the Mason-Dixon line for the body. And if it's on one side of that, then it's, you know, or it's on the other side, if it's on both sides, then that's called advanced stage or stage three, lymph nodes above and below the Mason-Dixon line. Stage four is just, just means it's not only in lymph nodes, it's in lymph nodes and something else in your body. Um, that something else could be an organ like your liver or your lung. Um, but it doesn't really matter what it is. Stage four just means lymph nodes plus something else. When some types of cancer, not named Hodgkin lymphoma, have spread um, into other organs, that's a very different situation from where those cancers start. Hodgkin lymphoma is a lymphoma, a cancer of lymphocytes, of immune cells. So this is a cancer that comes from and is of the immune system. Your immune system is by its nature through the whole body. So it shouldn't be a surprise if these cancers show up in more than one spot in your body. And it doesn't have anything to do with whether or not that illness is curable. Stage is important, not because it says who can be cured and who cannot. It's important because it tells us sort of how hard we got to work at this. Patients who have less disease, it won't shock you to hear, generally need less treatment to achieve their best chance at cure. Patients who have more disease will often need to receive a more comprehensive course of treatment in order to give them the best chance of achieving the cure, which we not only um, know is possible, but we, we usually expect uh, to achieve for our patients with, with newly diagnosed Hodgkin lymphoma. So first, what is a PET scan? Um, that's, that's a good question. Thanks for asking. Um, so a PET scan is a type of body scan, a type of way of taking pictures of inside the body, like a CAT scan where you, where you will often use medicine that lights up the blood vessels. So you can see what you're looking at, very clear black and white pictures. A PET scan is more like an Andy Warhol painting. It's very bright, vivid colors, and you get a lot of information about what's going on. What lights up in a PET scan is metabolism. It's where, what parts of your body are actually using sugar for energy and the more sugar that it absorbs, that sugar then is actually a little bit radioactive and it glows for our cameras. Not radioactive in a dangerous way, but radioactive in a, I can take pictures of that kind of way. So by doing a PET scan, you can see what areas in the body have unusual or abnormal metabolism. And we know that Hodgkin lymphoma is a very metabolically active thing. Those cells are using lots of energy and doing their thing. So they light up very brightly on a PET scan for me to look at. So by doing a PET scan, I can see where those areas are that are lighting up that shouldn't be lighting up. And that is really how we best stage our patients. It's the best look at where the cancer is and isn't at the start of treatment. Your question was also, how do we use PET scans, not just for the staging process, but how can we use it along the way to inform what we do together to try to treat the lymphoma successfully? We know that many patients with Hodgkin lymphoma will have very quick improvement of their PET scans, even after only like two months of treatment. So oftentimes that PET scan, even after just two months or two cycles for treatments, after just that little bit of treatment time, their PET scans will often be already normalized, meaning that if the scan was that good at the end of treatment, you'd say, congratulations, you're in remission. That's often our expectation going into treatment that the scans should get that much better that quickly. Thank you.